Hey there guys, in this video we're going to be solving an exponential radical equation where we have the square root of 2 to the x plus 2 plus the square root of 18 minus 2 to the x equals 6 and we want to solve for x values. So I'll be presenting two methods, even though the methods are somewhat similar, they are different, so make sure to watch this till the end to not miss the second method. Great, so let's go ahead and start with this. And before we start with the first method, let's go ahead and talk about the domain of this equation. So we have two restrictions. We want this and this to be non-negative, right? So first of all, we want 2 to the x plus 2 to be greater than or equal to 0. But notice that since 2 to the x is always positive, this is always true. So I can go ahead and say that x can be any real number. Secondly, we want 18 minus 2 to the x to be non-negative. Therefore, we're going to have 2 to the x is less than or equal to 18. So if I go ahead and take the log of both sides, we're going to have log of 2 to the x with base 2 is less than or equal to log of 18 with base 2, which means that x must be less than or equal to log 18 with base 2. So this is the main restriction that we have for the x values that we're going to find. And now let's go ahead and rewrite our problem down here. So we have the square root of 2 to the x plus 2 plus the square root of 18 minus 2 to the x equals 6. And we know that x values must be less than or equal to log 18 with base 2. Now let's go ahead and start with the first method. So method number one. So in the first method, let's go ahead and say that u equals 2 to the x plus 2. So if I go ahead and negate both sides, we're going to have negative u equals negative 2 to the x minus 2. And then by adding 20 to both sides, we're going to get 20 minus u equals 18 minus 2 to the x. So that means that by replacing this with u, this is going to be 20 minus u, which means that our equation is equivalent to this equation, the square root of u, oops, u plus the square root of 20 minus u equals 6. So let's go ahead and solve this for u, and then from that, we're going to be able to back substitute to solve for x. So first of all, Let's go ahead and move this to the right hand side and move this number to the left hand side. So we're going to have the square root of u minus 6 equals the square root of 20 minus u. So we did this to isolate this radical expression. And now let's go ahead and square both sides. So we're going to have u plus 36 minus 12 times the square root of u equals 20 minus u. And then let's go ahead and move this to the left hand side and move this to the right hand side to isolate the radical expression again. So we're going to have u plus u, which is 2u, and 36 minus 20 is going to be 16. And this equals 12 times the square root of u. And now notice that uh, both sides are divisible by 2. So we can divide both sides by 2 to get u plus 8 equals 6 times the square root of u. Next, let's go ahead and square both sides. So we're going to get u squared plus 64 plus 16u equals 36 times u. Next, to form a quadratic equation, we need to move everything on the same side. So we're going to have u squared minus 20u plus 64 equals zero. Great. Next, in order to solve this for u, let's go ahead and factor the left hand side. So we want to find two negative numbers that add up to negative 20 and multiply to positive 64. And those two numbers are 4, negative 4, and negative 16, which means that u can either equal to 4 or u equals 16. Now remember, 
that u equals 2 to the x plus 2. So that means that 2 to the x plus 2 equals 4, or it equals 16, which means that 2 to the x either equals 2 or 2 to the x equals 14. Obviously, from the first one, we're going to get x equals 1. And from the second one, we're going to get x equals log 14 with base 2. Now, remember that we want the x values to be less than or equal to log 18 with base 2. And if you look at these two values, you can see that both of them are less than log 18 with base 2. So this is less than log 18 with base 2. So it is a valid solution. And the same thing goes for this one. So we have two valid solutions, x equals 1 and x equals log 14 with base 2. This means that we are done with the first method. So now let's go ahead and talk about the second method. But first, let me rewrite the problem again. So we have the square root of 2 to the x plus 2 plus the square root of 18 minus 2 to the x equals 6. And we want x values to be less than or equal to log 18 with base 2. So in the second method, method number two, I'm going to go ahead and use the substitution method again, but in a different way. So I'm going to call this the whole thing y and call this z. So if y equals the square root of 2 to the x plus 2, that means that y squared is going to be 2 to the x plus 2. And if z equals the square root of 18 minus 2 to the x, that means that z squared equals 18 minus 2 to the x. Now, the cool thing is that once I add these two equations, 2 to the x is going to be eliminated, and that's a good news. So let's go ahead and add these two up. So we're going to have y squared plus z squared equals 20. Now, remember that from the original equation, we have y plus z equals 6. So we have y plus z equals 6. So now if I square both sides, we're going to have y squared plus z squared plus 2yz equals 36. Notice that y squared plus z squared is 20. So that means that 2 times zy or yz equals 16, which means that yz equals 8. Now, notice that we want to find two numbers that add up to 6 and multiply to 8. And notice that both of them are positive numbers. So what are these numbers? Well, one of them has to be 2, and the other one has to be 4. So we have two cases, either y equals 2 and z equals 4, or y equals 4 and z equals 2. So this is the first case, and this is the second case. And now let's go ahead and talk about the first case. So let's say that y, which is the square root of 2 to the x plus 2, equals 2 and z, which is the square root of 18 minus 2 to the x, equals 4. So from the first one, I can say that 2 to the x plus 2 equals 4, which means that 2 to the x equals 2, which means that x equals 1. And from the second one, I can say that 18 minus 2 to the x equals 16, which means that 2 to the x must be 2, which means that x must be 1. So both of these equations gives us the same solution, x equals 1. So from the first case, I get x equals 1. Next, let's go ahead and talk about the second case, where y, which is the square root of 2 to the x plus 2, equals 4, and z, which is the square root of 18 minus 2 to the x, 
equals 2. So from the first one, I can say that 2 to the x plus 2 equals 16, which means that 2 to the x equals 14, which means that x equals log 14 with base 2. From the second one, we can say that 18 minus 2 to the x equals 4, which means that 2 to the x equals 14, which means that x equals log 14 with base 2. So again, we have the same solution. So from the second case, we have x equals log 14 with base 2. Great, so as expected before, we found the same solutions, and this means that we are done with the second method. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button.